If you smoke when you're pregnant, you can harm your baby's development and you increase the risk of stillbirth, miscarriage or having a premature baby. This is an issue for us in Coventry, where more women smoke when they're pregnant compared to other parts of the country. There are big differences within Coventry across different parts of the city. At the moment, 554 women in Coventry smoke when they're pregnant. Our ambition is to reduce that figure to 129 in the city. We're tackling this with practical support for women. Overall, the Stop Smoking in Pregnancy service um, has offered me constant one-to-one -one care right from the beginning all the way throughout my pregnancy and in actual fact until after I've had the baby as well. Through this process, I've managed to um, stop smoking. Um, I do feel uh, very proud of myself because it's something initially that I was very negative towards. Um, I didn't initially want to stop. Um, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to quit. Um, so it's, it's a very big achievement for me um, in such a short space of time to be able to cut down and then inevitably um, quit completely. Um, I definitely feel um, quite confident in the fact that I won't restart really smoking um, after you know, I've finished this process. Overall it has been a very positive experience, um, there's a lot of different benefits, not only in yourself you feel better, um, also it's the, mainly the sense of achievement, um, particularly I think for any woman being pregnant is, is a scary time but also doing something that you've never done before as well as being pregnant is a lot of pressure. So knowing that you've that you sort of conquered your demons in a way and you've, you, know, you have quit smoking it sort of makes you feel a lot better as to what's coming sort of thing. Breastfeeding is the best kind of nutrition you can give a baby, helping to protect them from infections and diseases. In Coventry, we know that a good number of mums will start to breastfeed. There are differences across the city though. By six to eight weeks, the number still feeding falls dramatically. An increase between 100 and 200 more babies being breastfed at six to eight weeks would match the England average. We will do this by helping women through our breastfeeding services. When I um, went into hospital to give birth to my daughter, um, I was given information about the Coventry and Warwickshire Breastfeeding Support Group or uh, support services. So when I came out of hospital, I was I did really really struggle um, for the first few days, and I contacted oh. that that support and they came out the same day, in fact they visited me two or three times at home and they're absolutely fantastic and I think if it hadn't have been for the support um, with that group, I think with that team, I think um, I possibly would have given up. I really struggled initially, it was painful, um, I had to continue to remember why I was doing it and why I wanted to do it in the first place. Um, I decided to breastfeed primarily for the health benefits. Um, for both me and the children. Um, obviously it protects them and builds up their immune system and you've spent nine months making sure you eat all the right things and, and give them the best start in life. I just wanted to continue that. Um, and also then discovered that it was good for me to protect against breast cancer and cervical cancer. Um, so that was the first reason. And then as time went on I realised that it's so much cheaper than formula. Um, it's so much less hassle, with, you don't have to sterilise bottles and you don't have to worry about mixing it up wrong and getting out of bed in the middle of the night. Um, so, and it also, it's produced a brilliant bond between me and the children. It's nice to have that time, especially when they're first born, everybody wants a cuddle. So it's nice to have that exclusive mummy and baby time to bond. Well, I'm part of the Coventry Infant Feeding Team and we work in partnership with Community Midwifery and Health Visiting. So antenatally what our team can deliver is one-to-one -one home visits to deliver antenatal information, teaching mums how to position and attach their babies, how to effectively hand express and some of the really strong tips that we need to give mums to give them more of a chance of succeeding post delivery of the baby. And I think with the parent craft, it was set up as at the time when we first started, um, maternity services um, and UHCW, who are one of our partners, approached us and said ethnic minority communities aren't accessing mainstream parent craft. 
So we, together in a, in a partnership with, uh, with maternity services, have set up this parent craft that's been running for over 12, 13 years to really respond to that need and that gap. So every single woman is supported with language, every woman has a cultural, culturally appropriate service and they feel very safe. And we reinforce a lot of the key health messages around breastfeeding, around smoking, um, around safe sleeping, which are really important. Oh yes, mom taught. It's very useful for me, this country. As I say, I don't have any support family here. And uh, I um, just met one of the mom taught staff in the GP and they say, uh, do you want to um, just to take part in the class? We have a lot of section for the breastfeeding for the pregnancy pe uh, class. And I really, really was happy. And mom taught gave me lots of information, even how to put the baby for breastfeeding, how to everything every information if you have if you don't have any support here you can contact to the breastfeeding community and they can help you they can come to your house and I really enjoy for the section yeah it was good <laughs>